My name is Rodrigo Mancini. I come to you from the Vatican with a message from the Pope himself. I have seen many messengers from the Vatican these last few weeks, all claiming to be of high importance. What news do you bring? People are disappearing from the monastery every week. The Pope believes that there is a demon here, condemning sinners to the fiery pits of hell. <laughs> there is no demon here. Only a fool would believe in such superstitious nonsense. But the Pope is our leader. We must respect his opinion. The Pope is insignificant. He is just a mere title, a figure that represents our people. Only my opinion is of importance. You really should not have come here tonight, Rodrigo. I have told you too much information, and news spreads fast in the Vatican. But you have not even told me your name, Signor. My name is the Monk! <laughs> As this is your first trip, Wesley, I think you should have the honor of deciding where we go. Anywhere is fine, as long as it doesn't involve fighting monsters again. The chances of that are very small. Danger seems to follow us wherever we go, even when we're on the most tranquil planets. This machine can take you to any time or place you desire. And I know just the place for you. Where are we off to this time, Doctor? You two need a holiday. And there's no better place than Renaissance Italy, the province of Florence to be precise, the home of some of the greatest and most influential people in the history of your race. It's a bit bleaker than you described it, Doctor. And it's freezing. This is not the Florence I remember. We should leave while we still have the chance. But we've only just arrived. Those two monks were carrying the corpse of a young man no older than yourself. This whole place feels wrong. Doctor, you're just being paranoid. Can't you feel it? There's evil in this city. Even as I'm speaking to you now, people are watching our every move. to the TARDIS! Step away from them, assassins! You saved our lives back there. With all these murders every night, we have to look after each other. My name's Giovanni. I'm the Doctor. And this is Eve and her brother Wesley. You must be shaken up. I'll take you to my friend Leonardo's house. He lives just around the corner. Leonardo? Da Vinci? That's right. Do you know him? Well, we send Christmas cards. Last time I spoke to him, he was obsessed with building a flying machine. It's about time he had to catch up. After all these years of waiting, the doctor has returned for me. We have sat in the shadows for decades, but the time of change is fast approaching. Tonight, we shall march across the city. Tonight, we shall become gods! We shall become gods! The trap is closing around the great Leonardo da Vinci. Tomorrow, the world will awaken to an impossible future. Oh, Leonardo, my good friend. I was wondering when you'd show up again, Doctor. I take it you got my message about that Mona Lisa fakes. 
Sorry about all that writing on the canvas, but it did save mankind in the end. Uh, the Mona what? Ah, uh, yes. That's the trouble with time travel. Nothing ever happens in the right order. Believe me, I know. Sorry, I forgot my manners. This is Eve and Wesley, and I take it you already know Giovanni. It's a pleasure to meet you, Signor Da Vinci. There was something strange about those guards that attacked us. But I won't know until I've carried out some tests in the TARDIS. The answer was in their breath. We're away here. I've always wanted to speak to a genius. But what's that device over there, Leonardo? That's my flying machine. I've always meant to get around to testing it, but the doctor said that it wasn't safe to fly yet. I thought you said you were getting equipment. I changed my mind. Thank you for bringing us here, Giovanni. Now, if you don't mind, I need to talk to Leo in private. Ciao! The final preparations are in place. We have now infiltrated the whole city. Once Florence is burned to the ground, I shall drink the blood of the Doctor! Only then will I be avenged. We saw two guards carrying a corpse out from the church. These deaths have been going on for months, ever since the monk arrived in Florence. The monk? Girolamo Savonarola. He lives under the city with his followers, terrorizing the neighborhood. No one goes to the church anymore, not after all these deaths. I never properly thanked you before for saving our lives. Where were you heading before you got caught up in all this? Oh, um, I was off to my parents' house to tell them the good news. Good news? My wife and I are going to have a child. We only found out this morning. Congratulations! I'm sure you'll make a great father. I hope so. I never knew my father before he died. I want my child to have all the opportunities I was never given. Hello again, everyone. Why did you leave Leonardo by himself? You came back to the house and said you wanted to speak to Leonardo in private, so you told us to leave. I went to test out a little theory in the TARDIS. I never returned to the house. Well, if that wasn't you, who did we just leave with Leonardo da Vinci? Are uh, you alright, Doctor? I am a servant of the Great Monk. You are a threat to our cause, and all threats must be eliminated. The Monk is a time meddler, and the death of a legendary man is most pleasing to him. Sorry about the last second rescue. What was that fantastic machine, Doctor? It looked identical to you! It's an android, just as I thought. I knew from the moment I saw them that there was something wrong. How did you know there were androids? The outside temperature was freezing cold, but you couldn't see the guards' breath when they spoke. This technology is far too advanced for Renaissance Italy. Someone wants information from you, and it's not for good purposes. What did you tell the android? I told him about all the deaths, and that no one goes to the church anymore, but he was more interested in what I knew about the monk. The monk? You know him? There was a monk who came from the same race as myself, but he turned evil. His only passion was meddling with fixed events in time, rewriting history and causing paradoxes. If the monks knows that I'm here, we have to move. But why would the monk have come to Florence? Renaissance Italy is one of the most influential and important times in the history of the human race. And the most influential person during that time is you. The monk wants you dead. <laughs> Doctor, take Leonardo and your friends out the back door. What about you? You can't stay here, the assassins will kill you. I 
I've already defeated them once. Run, save yourselves. Do as he says, quickly. Good luck, Giovanni. I made a huge mistake coming to Florence. You three must wait in the TARDIS until I have dealt with the monk. He's too dangerous with his assassins everywhere. I'm not letting you fight this monk by yourself. Don't argue with me. The monk is only here because I trapped him in the past. It is my battle and my battle alone. But together we're stronger. Together we can defeat him. I thought you said no one goes to church anymore. Oh, they don't. Then who's ringing the bell? I know you mean well, Eve, but this can only be ended by me. Please, understand. He really does care about you. I know. I just wish I could be more useful to him. Giovanni, you didn't deserve to die. The monk has gone too far this time. Even for him, he's got to be stopped. Which one of you killed Giovanni? Innocent people have died ever since the monk moved to Florence. But what for? Why do you kill? Answer me! We are assassins! Our only purpose is to kill! Why did the monk create you? He's a genius. He doesn't need the help of primitive androids. I assume you've been expecting me. I waited for decades for you to come. But you never did. You were a threat to time. I thought that trapping you in the past would stop you from meddling. You left me to die! And do you think it worked? Do you think trapping me stopped my meddling? I was lonely, afraid, depressed, and the desire to meddle just got worse! You're insane. You made me insane! The doctor's been gone for ages. I'm going inside to look for him. Tonight, my assassins will march across Florence and change the course of history. And that will be entirely your fault! You made me become the monster that I am! What are you doing? I am the Mad Monk of Florence! I'll go down in history for this! You've doomed us both! Wesley and the Doctor are still in there! No, Eve! There's no point in you risking your life as well! We can't just leave them! There has to be some way we can help them. The android! Doctor! Doctor, where are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my church? There's no time to explain. Have you seen a man called the Doctor? Are you a friend of his? Yes, and I think he's still in here. Wesley! I'm sorry, Doctor! I was trying to look for you! Why are you doing this, Monk? This is your test, Doctor! You only have time to save one of us before the balconies burn! Who will you choose? You know I can't make that choice. I can't say who lives and who dies. You almost killed me once, Doctor! 
Must you really do it again? I can't hold on much longer. Make your choice, Doctor. The traveling boy who tries so hard but fails, or the mad monk who you ruined. Choose! Doctor, please help me! Android state your instructions. You save Wesley, I'll get the monk. Doctor! I'm the real doctor. He's just the android me. Hello? Speaking of which, how did you reprogram him? That was me, Doctor. I figured that if we move some control circuits around, the android might respond to your instructions. You managed to reprogram alien circuitry? You really are the greatest inventor that's ever lived. <laughs> You're as gracious as ever, Doctor. I look forward to our next meeting. It will certainly be a good one. I remember it well. Until then, my friend. The monk killed Giovanni. That's horrible. He was going to be a father. What? He told me that he and his wife had just discovered this morning. The man you killed was going to be a father. Everyone dies eventually, Doctor. But I think I will live for a long time yet. You're the Mad Monk of Florence, and you'll be executed this year. It's a part of history that you can't meddle with. You're lying. Try me. Then you're condemning me to death again, Doctor! No, Monk. You condemned yourself. You've always lived a life of meddling and evil. You deserve to scream. Doctor, if the android hadn't come, who would you have saved? I don't think I would have saved anyone. I was just going to stand in the flames as the church fell down around me. You've seen how dangerous it is, Wesley. Do you still want to travel with us? I wouldn't miss it for the world. In that case, welcome aboard. I promise you two a holiday, and I know the perfect place. Where's that? The Musée de Louvre. Or the Mu de Louvre. Or the Musée de Louvre. Or some artsy place. Home to some of the best art the human race has ever produced. And most importantly, the Mona Lisa. The finest work of the great Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> 